you join the team with, with Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins. Uh, when, you, when you arrive and you join those guys on that team, obviously looking at Michael Jordan, then no one's saying, oh, man, I see him. This guy is going to be the greatest player ever to play. But did you see something in him different at that time? Maybe work ethic, maybe athleticism, something that made you think he was special? Or was it just like, no, nah, like that's he's Michael Jordan. That's my teammate. He's really good. I think um, it was after it was the summers that I noticed it. It was his work ethic in the summertime. During the season, we're all working the same amount. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. no one's getting an edge on work ethic. Like we're all doing the same stuff. Absolutely. But in the off season, I, when the pros at that time, you know, we probably had 22 guys who were in the NBA from North Carolina. And they all would come back and play. And he would just dominate guys. And these are guys who are NBA All-Stars that I want, like, I want to get their autograph. And absolutely. He would just dominate Dre in terms of like everyone has a day. Like I'm sure that when East Langston, you had a day or two or a week, you go, but it was every day that he yeah. did it. And he was the first guy that I saw, because I'm a trash talker. I'm from New York. That's all we do. Talk, talk, talk. So, but he was the first guy that I saw that could back up everything he said. He could back it up. And he was the, I always said to him, I'm like, yo, you're the perfect basketball body. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you're six foot six, you can play with the bigs, and you're six foot six, and you can guard the smalls. And you have super athleticism. And then to, in college, he had a perfect jump shot. So I used to be like, how do you miss? Your jump shot, your elbow's always in. You should never miss. The one thing that I thought that he didn't have when I was a freshman was his ball handling. He was very, he was good at darting to the rim, Dre, but he couldn't shake you. So I used to be like, oh, I got Mike. I got Mike. And he's like, oh, you going to guard me? I'm like, yeah, because you can't dribble. You can't got, and back then we used to handle. You ain't got no handle. So long story short, we play and pick up, blah, blah, blah. So next year comes and he goes, you called me? I'm like, yeah, I got Mike. you like, handle's ridiculous. He's like, I got a handle now. So even like that, you know, the documentary says he thinks of things, even when he doesn't probably, he probably don't remember saying it, but he came back a year later and the first thing he says, oh, I got a handle now. And he worked on I'll say this about him, Dre. He's the only bad player in basketball history that the things he came in that were that was his weaknesses were his strengths when he left the league. His ball handling, his shooting, his turnaround jump shot, his post game was probably some of his weaknesses. Those were his strengths when he left the league. There's nobody else like that. Right? Yeah, I'm telling Kobe. you. Kobe, His, what, what did Kobe, Kobe's what was ball Kobe handling weakness? wasn't that. Kobe's Kobe ball was handling was good, but as a rookie, he was doing all the I, 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 one stuff. As a rookie, I, it was fancy. It, it was fancy, but I don't think it was like, like, like he was doing the long crossover and stuff. But it wasn't a tight handle. It was loose. Mike couldn't do a long crossover <laughs> when he got in the league. He couldn't that that pullback on Brian Russell. He would have never been able to do that when he first got in the league. There was like no way that I would imagine he's doing that move to win an NBA Finals. That's what I mean. Like that move for Kobe, I would still be like, okay, he likes to do all that one. He could. I would never imagine Mike. That would be his signature move that like could define his career, could could define his career. Like, I just think that I, I mean Kobe might be that guy, but I don't know any other like that every weakness was his strength at the end. What's up everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward.